Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to another episode of From the Side of the Fridge. Um, today we're gonna hit three things with this, with this video, with this recipe. Recipe from the side of the fridge. Um, I'm gonna do the recipe three ways. So there's gonna be a little bit of experimentation to see which way works best for me. And I'm flying this summer, um, this June, in a fundraiser for a charity called Hope Air. And it's going to be me um, and uh, probably a dozen other pilots fundraising, flying from Toronto to Sault Ste. Marie, out to PEI, and then back um, to bring awareness for the charity and also to raise money. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. But one of the things I love to munch on while I'm flying are cookies. So this from the side of the fridge, this is recent, um, a recent addition to the side of the fridge recipes. Uh, Julie got it out of a, out of a book a couple of years ago that she read and it's for a chocolate chip cookie that uses crushed up cornflakes. I think it's a really good cookie. It's become, you know, sort of not the go-to chocolate chip cookie, but certainly one that we make over and over and over again. And I thought, you know, a few years ago we did a chocolate chip cookie with crushed up potato chips. And I thought, well, why couldn't potato chips work in this recipe as well? And then, you know, we had Rice Krispies on the counter. So let's put Rice Krispies in one. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to break it into three, and then we'll add each of the add-ins separately, bake them, see what happens. So in the stand mixer, I have white sugar and brown sugar, and this is melted butter. And we'll mix those together. To that, I'm going to crack in two eggs. I've got flour. To that, I'm going to add baking soda and salt. And we'll just mix that in a little bit. Okay, now into here, I'm going to tip in a little bit of vanilla. And this is, uh, you know, so far a pretty standard cookie. So we'll just spoon in the flour a little bit at a time, let it mix in and then spoon in the next. And so I'll put a chapter marker down below in the playhead if you want to skip this bit, but I'll talk about the charity now. It's called Hope Air, um, and the part that I'm involved in is called Give Hope Wings. Uh, if you don't know, Canada is a massive, geographically a massive country, um, but most people live very close to the American border in larger cities. Um, but there are a lot of communities that are far flung in Canada. And while our healthcare is universal, it's free, you still have to get there. And this leaves people in some of these smaller communities that don't have year round road access. Some of them don't have road access at all. You have to fly in and out. That's the only way to get in and out of these communities. Um, they have to travel quite a ways to get to healthcare that they need, whether it be surgery or cancer treatment or something like that. And so Hope Air exists to partner private pilots with small aircraft who are able to charitably fly in, get them and help these people get to a larger center where they can, where they can access treatment. And so this is, a, this is a charity that I've decided to get behind this year in 2023. Julie and I have lived in these little towns um, in Northern Ontario and Saskatchewan where access to healthcare, you, you have a basic clinic, but if you need something more, you have to go farther afield and it could be tough. Um, you know, when we were in university, it was, it was tough to come up with the money. And there are a lot of people that just need this help. So if I can give back and, and help in any way that I can, um, that's something that I like to do. So if you can, if it's something that you believe in, if it's something that you, you would like to get behind, follow the link down below and it will take you to a fundraising page called Glenn's Hanger. It's part of my other YouTube channel. Um, None of the money comes to me. Your donation goes directly to Hope Air. I have to cover all of my own expenses for this. It's like a Terry Fox run or a charitable fundraising run. I don't get any of the money. Um, I don't handle any of the money. It goes directly to them. I have to, in fact, kick in my own money to make this happen. So I sometimes think that if everyone who watches one of our videos, um, and on average on the first day, we get like you know 25 to 35,000 views on a video, if everyone donated one dollar to a charity, um, you, you know, we could really make a difference. We could really change someone's life. 
I put in the last of the flour and I mixed in the chocolate chips and I think we're completely mixed at this point. So I've tried to break this into three roughly equal portions. Uh, I should have got out of scale. I didn't. It'll be okay. This one is going to get crushed up Rice Krispies or partially crushed up Rice Krispies. This one is going to get potato chips. I keep thinking back to that potato chip recipe we did probably five, six years ago. Um, I really liked those cookies. This one is going to get the cornflakes as per the instructions. Um, the recipe is called Joanne Flukes Cookie Choco Chip. I don't know if that's the character from the book that Julie was reading or if that's the author. Not really sure. Uh, we'll have to ask her when she gets home from work. So we just mix them in. So I've got a baking sheet with some parchment paper and I'm going to mark off which is cornflakes, which is chips, and which is Rice Krispies. Uh, just so I don't forget when they're in the oven, which is, you know, something that I'm very apt to do. So I'm just going to scoop these out. I've got the oven preheated to 375. And as is common, they'll be in the oven for somewhere between 8 and 10 minutes. Last one. Into the oven. Hey, Quinn. Hey, Jules. Hey, friends. Cookies. So it's Joanne Fluke. Is she the author or the character? Oh, you mean those ones? Yeah, yeah. she's the author. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the author's cookies. Um, this is her recipe with the cornflakes, crushed up chips, and Rice Krispies. Yeah, because these were really good. They were really crunchy. Yeah. But, we, yeah. but anyway, so you've got different crunchy factors. I have different crunchy factors. I'm going to break them in half because I don't think we need a whole cookie each. Okay. Oh. Okay. That one had a nice snap. Yeah, and this one with the Rice Krispies. Oh, there you go. Oh, that one doesn't have as many chocolate chips in it. Oh. All right, so do we have to do them both at the same time? Yeah, so okay. I, I already know what the cornflake one tastes like. Let's, I, I, okay, I'm going to start with it. start with it. I'm going to start with it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cornflakes bring that little extra crunch. Yeah. Yeah. And then I really like that. Okay. I'm ready for the next one. You ready? So potato chips. A little bit of a salty hit. Mm-hmm. A little bit of a crunch and a salty hit. I like that one too though. Mm-hmm. I'm not unhappy with either choice. No. And now Rice Krispies. I have no clue what to expect from Rice Krispies. The dough tasted really good. They're crunchy in a different way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try that one again because it's not quite the same. No. Because it's crunchy and yet it's kind of oatmeal-y. But I know it's not oatmeal, it's not but oatmeal. I can't describe the, uh, 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 the texture of it other than being like a... Cause it, anyway. I'm going to declare. I did any of them. It doesn't matter. No, whatever you got that's kind of crunchy, <laughs> throw it in. They're all good in their own way. They really are all good in their own way. And so... I'm all covered in chocolate. I only that's cooked great. that many. You got a lot of frozen? Yeah, they do freeze well. I will admit, they, they do freeze they, well. They freeze except really well. And so I froze them all. <laughs> we're, them good. A, we're good for a long time. I put them in a sealed container and bake them off as we need them. I'm going to have a hard time just not, you know, eating all of this. You said yeah. one, but you know. And so we bake them from frozen. Just put them on the sheet tray, put them in. These baked for about 10 minutes. You might go 11 minutes with a frozen cookie in the oven. It's not that much longer. So, um, thank you, Joanne Fluke. This is a winner. Adding these other things, equally winner. Yeah. Um, Don't be picky. <laughs> Just enjoy it. I might gain 40 pounds in the plane sitting there <laughs> munching on cookies as I fly along. Well, conveniently, there isn't a fridge, so you can only eat however much you bring. So yeah. the key 
is to only bring a few. Only bring a few. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon. I do want to thank everyone who listened through my spiel earlier about Hope Air and Give Wings Hope and this fundraiser that I'm working on. Um, something that I believe in, something that I want to put myself behind this year. Um, and if you think it's a right fit for you, please follow the link and, uh, and give what you can. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.